form of corruption in my view because you no longer have the complete version of the revelation. If people had just discarded it, forgotten it, it's no longer part of our collective memory. That's also a really important part of what I would call, you may disagree, I call that corruption. We no longer have the original text. That matters a great deal. The Quran claims repeatedly to be a muhaymin, like a quality control over the, the, the text that Jews and Christians do have and, and to be, and to, and to be um, have guardianship over it. So it can tell you where, where these texts say the Bible teaches something. We know that it's true if it conforms with what the Quran says. If it contradicts what the Quran says as the final pristine, uncorrupted, unlost revelation, then we know what the Bible says is a corruption. This is the fourth way, okay? that we can tell when it's false or corrupted when it disagrees with what the Quran explicitly teaches. So for example, the Quran says, in my understanding, you correct me if I'm wrong, that Jesus was not crucified. Although it appeared to them, the Jews, that he was. And what, the, what does Baal Ayman say about that? Because you appealed to him earlier on as he's a sort of authority. What's his opinion on the crucifixion? I, I, as, a, as a secular atheist historian who does not believe in revelation, he thinks that Jesus was crucified, yes. Right, absolutely. Okay. So do you accept that? No. So why should I accept? Because I'm using my own critical judgment here. I don't slavishly follow scholars when I agree right. with them but you or when they don't agree with them. To, to make an objection to do, me. Do, do you know, because as God... He will, as if he was my answer that is, and it's not an answer he would accept, my answer to that is, God knows better than Bar Ehrman. Okay, God so knows why, better why than Bar Ehrman. Bar Ehrman as an authority? That's my whole Because point. on the specific question of manuscripts, right. he's a textual critic. That's his expertise. He was on the NRSV committee. He worked there with, uh, uh, you know... Bruce, so, sorry, it's Bruce, just... Bruce Bruce Metzger, sorry, who was sorry, the most, one of the most greatest sexual scholars. God trumps Bar Ehrman every time. Okay. Bar Ehrman may be the most brilliant human being that's ever lived, okay. but he's second to God. Okay. God knows better than Bar Ehrman. Do you know why? Because God is timeless and has a perfect apprehension of everything that's happened in the, in the universe. Bar Ehrman is a fallible human being. And he has said, by the way, let me quote Bar Ehrman to you on this subject. He says, all these historical uh, judgments are probabilities. Mm. We cannot know with certainty, they're probabilities. And yeah. he's right. They, they are probabilities, they're historical reconstructions. So he doesn't know for certain. God knows for certain because God knows everything. He's omniscient. That's so, my reply. Just in general, so, I ask you this, I'm just going to ask more about that. Do you believe? Do you want to just time, um, cause, Do you believe at the time of your prophet that Jews were corrupting the, the Torah either verbally or both verbally and actually? Both. Okay. And, and the reason why, and you hear the question I would have asked you, but you had a different opinion, was it's essentially because we do have, for example, the Dead Sea Scrolls and like textual. But the Dead Sea Scrolls are not the same as our modern Bibles right. in so, many important ways. So when we get, when Look we at get, Jeremiah, for example. Yeah, but when we get to establish, for example, what the proximity would be, my question would be do we find those alleged changes of the Jews? in any of the texts because we have some stability even if it was if we don't have stability so um, yes we do no because in terms of the Masoretic text was one of the greatest finds because it highlights the stability of the Torah which no it doesn't yes it does well, let that's me explain. why it was a, no, it, why, that's why I said absolutely it absolutely find. it doesn't which Torah are we talking about why I'm, why do you privilege yeah, the Maseratic over the, the Pentateuch yeah, over saying, the Dead Sea Scrolls I'm there are saying, many but, and there are also many scholars my, there are additional Torahs we have lost my question is essentially the same because if a Muslim believes that Jews were textually corrupting the yeah. Torah at the time do we find those textual corruptions in any of the manuscripts that we have no, I, the, I, well, that's because a, we should find so, like from the 6th century 7th century you see it depends what you mean by textual corruption I've given yeah. you examples where the, even the, the we give an example of Paul corrupting the Torah by the way uh, which is a really important issue because he actually literally distorted and changed the words which is what the Quran accused the Jews of did, but, but, but did, it actually says that in the Paul, Quran again so, I've said tech, my argument is textual corruption so it's Paul is saying yes, it's textual he's corruption. gone to the uh, gone to the Sanhedrin open up the, the Torah and change the text no he didn't do that yes he did no he didn't absolutely okay, shall we look at examples give me we'll, we'll, we'll go through the examples the one I've repeatedly given you but because you, what he's saying is Paul can, would write can, the, the, can, I, the, can I give you an example the example I've given which I really Paul's would letters, love to go into detail Paul, yeah but you're saying Paul would write his letters and misquote the text no 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 that is different I said when you, when you, you multiple times mm. when he quotes the Old Testament you must have done this Where's he you must have the done Old this Testament? I challenge anyone here in his if you look up Paul's quotes from the Old Testament in, in, hang on a second 
In Paul's letters, when he quotes in the Old Testament... that's not the Torah. Will you let me finish? When he quotes in the Old Testament, the Torah, repeatedly he misquotes it. He changes the words. That is corruption of the text. Do you not think? Well, the one, the, one, the one example I gave, another one from the Hebrews chapter 11. But do you believe that Paul corrupted the Bible? Well, uh, uh, but this, this is more interesting because, it, well, you know the example. The other one is Romans 11. But, but uh, Nazem, who's a walking... Can we look at the text that Paul... Uh, misquoted yeah, and compared yeah, yeah we will then let's look yeah, at an example and would demonstrate how Christians have distorted Jews in the name of Paul who's the most famous Jew of the first century after Jesus mm. how he actually physically distorted and changed the Torah that he had with him what, what was his purpose of changing the Torah Oh, what was I, ca I, I can't look at his psychological motivation. No, no, no. When I say that, I mean the text that you're referring to. What was the change? Let's look at the change. We're going to look at examples now. Isn't the point making more to do with one to one? Or do you want well, you, 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 you pick one. Of, of you mentioned Romans. Yes. Yeah, we've we've sort of diverted. We're, we're, we're going to we're going to look at examples, but to demonstrate how a Jew right, actually distorted the scriptures. You diverted from my original point, and right. But I want to hear what he says. But we, right. we'll go back. In Romans chapter 11, uh, verse 26, Paul allegedly. Uh, quotes from Isaiah 59 20. He says in the Romans passage, this is Paul's letter to the Romans, the deliverer will come out of Zion. He will turn away godlessness from Jacob. And this is my covenant with them when I take away their sins. And this is to do with the gospel, as Paul claims. When you look up Isaiah 59 20, it says the opposite. The he has completely Palm twisted the meaning. But again, that's irrelevant of my no, point. No, it is relevant. It's a Jew quoting. Uh, it's what the Quran says. Textual corruption of the Torah. Yes, not, this is textual not, corruption of the Torah. I'm saying the actual. My, this is Paul's letter. So if he's misquoting, deliberately. Or it, yeah. I, I'm not even making that argument because that's read, my, my argument. Well, is why, the, why did Paul yeah. misquote it so badly? If, if he, let's well, why just, do you think? If he was misquoting, why? He's misquoting. My yeah, point but, was, but why is? When well, you believe Torah, this guy is inspired, possible again, of God, don't you? Yeah, but my question was, when was the, the actual Torah corrupted? Because you no. agree there was an original. I'm saying there are multiple corruptions and additions to that history. Right. I, I've told you about so, the Dead Sea Scrolls. So let me ask you a question. This, what Paul's quotation, do we find it in the Torah? Yeah. So the Torah, we, if I if I go to the Old Testament now, do I find yes. this? Yes, he's misquoted it. No, no, I'm saying exactly. Well, there's, there's a, there's a, sense, Torah there's there's a narrow Torah, which is the Pentateuch, a broader so definition if, of Torah, if which is the whole Old Testament. is not in the Torah, that means Paul hasn't corrupted the Torah. No, no, he's, he's misquoted, mis he's misquoted. Right, that's, not, that's not what my point was. No, my, my point, point is, my, no, our point is that yeah, that's what the if, Quran is saying. If the Old Testament... But you're saying a narrow Torah, not wider. Yeah, narrow is the first five books. They're and it has a, it has a, a hang on, the hang on, the hang on, the hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, the term is used in different senses. But, but the, the point they're making is a non-argument, because if you could go to the Torah, it would matter if he went back and changed the change in Isaiah. Yeah, exactly. If the change was in the Isaiah, then he's got a point. But my point is that because you can see the difference, they haven't... Oh, I see. No, in that sense, you're right. But what I'm saying is the here we see an attempt to actually change the scriptures, which is exactly what the Quran accuses the people of the book of doing. We actually see an example of this in history. Now, there are other examples where we can't date it precisely, but we know because we have multiple Torahs that don't all match. The Samaritan Pentateuch is not the same as the Septuagint, it's not the same as the Masoretic text. And according to scholars, there are other Torahs versions, which we may be news, for example, by other writers, which we no longer have. So we don't have the Torah just like the Quran says that was originally given to Moses we have different kinds of edited corrupted right. changed so, forgotten so, forgotten parts of the Torah and this is where my argument comes in and I can go to the Quran where it says the prophets were the protectors of the, of the Torah yeah we know this so therefore so that says that the rabbis and the, and the, 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 the priests priest maybe or yes I can, okay, let me bring it up we'll because if you go to the Tafsir it uh, also expand on that so, so it includes the prophets did you look up well, the Isaiah did yeah, yeah. Yeah. So therefore, if, because well, my point would then come to me, this, if I can, if yeah, like, I just want to look at um, another corrupt Torah, because if we have, for example, some Dead Sea Scrolls and we can see the consistency in the text, because it's not wildly different, the Quran says that God will teach him the Torah, so that implies mm. that Jesus learned the Torah not from the rabbis, so the but he learned it from God. So what, so, so it implies it was corrupt, so, so God taught him. Say that again. That implies that the 
that was part of the time in the game. Because the crunch is in chapter 3, uh, God would teach him the Torah, so that implies that the Torah must have been corrupt. So did Jesus teach the people that the Torah was corrupt? Um, well, for example, when he cites the passage from 1 Samuel, um, he says Abiathar was king. No, but I'm saying according to the so Bible. That implies that Jesus is quoting a different Torah by from what 1 Samuel 15. Yeah, example. but then if you're saying Jesus, but so you're conflicting two different things. Because you okay. just said that Allah taught him the Torah. So then if Jesus is misquoting the Torah, how could Jesus, Allah have taught him the Torah? You can't use two different... It's not misquoting. But how do you know Jesus because misquotes the Torah? Because he said how do you know Allah taught him, gave him the, Jesus the Torah. So therefore it would be accurate. Yes. But then if you're going to the Bible and saying that Jesus misquoted, then... So, so, so the gospel writers are not eyewitnesses of Jesus' ministry anyway. Because I'm, 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 I'm saying, saying that your, Jesus disagrees. Yeah, but the Jesus of the gospel disagrees with the, the Torah that we have present. Yeah, but I'm more referring to a different version of that. You know when he says, I'm, uh, I'm a Abiyah, 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 you know, Abiyah for what high priest at yes, the time yes. when David oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But yeah. if you look at the Torah, it doesn't actually say that. It says yeah. someone else. So, it, it, so who's, who's getting it wrong here? The Torah or Jesus? So I'm appealing uh, yeah. to the Quran. Yeah. So I, that's why I'm asking these can, questions. Can I, can I show to you an example so where... where, where... Me, can I just bring up my okay. point? Because I think you've lost my point. My point was, and if you want me to bring up the references, I can. My point was the Quran says that that the prophets were the protectors of, including the rabbis. It say that, yeah, well, where does it, it say that? that? In the tafsir, you said in the commentary. Yeah. Can, can, you, can, you, can you quote, the meaning of it? Can you quote from the Quran that. itself and not your memory of what it might have said? Do you want me to get, come on. Well, yeah, well, okay. That's what I just asked you to do. Okay. And while you're doing that, I'm going to share with you the actual quote from uh, what is traditionally seen as a letter of Paul, Hebrews chapter 10, not 11. I got the chapter wrong, but the example is there. For according to the author, for this reason, when, when he came into the world, he said, this is Jesus, sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you have prepared for me. Right? So according to, uh, and this is a quote uh, from the psalm, Psalm 40, verse 6 to 8. Uh, but this is a quote from the Greek translation, all right? So this is the incarnation of Jesus. A body you prepared for Jesus. The Son had a body uh, had a body prepared for him. Now, as this Bible, this is a Christian Bible, by the way, produced in the United States. As this Bible itself admits, this is cited according to the Septuagint, yeah. But if you look at the, um, the original reference in Psalm 40, can you see where it is there? Yeah. Psalms 40, verse 6 to 8, according to the subject of so, the yeah. There we go. The original says, the Masoretic text, yeah, the Hebrew says, instead of saying, a body you prepare for me, it has ears you have dug for me. Ears that you have dug for me. That's what the original Hebrew says. But this Christian writer has twisted the meaning. And if you look at James Barr, he's professor of Hebrew at Oxford, he discusses this passage as one of the world's experts. And, and he says, in his view, that the translator has made a mistake. And as Hebrew, as he's an expert in the Hebrew and the Greek, he can see where the author has made an error in the translation. But the point is that the, this passage, which supports the incarnation of Jesus, is fake. It's not real. It's a this translation. Thanks. So, so, no, because no, I've got to go back to my okay, 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 so, I'm asking you a question now. How do you respond to that? Which, which, no, no, we're jumping. Just discussed because I said I'll, okay, can you answer that point? I won't, and I'll tell you, you why. You won't? I'll tell you why. But you see, we're answering your questions. Yeah, I'll tell you Can why. we have a bit of to and fro I'll here? Tell you why. Can you for once answer one of our why. questions? I will tell you why. Can you answer one of our questions? Why won't you respond? Yeah, let me speak. Well, respond then. Can I speak? Yes. Okay, I'm telling you why I won't respond first because you asked you me respond. to read the verse. So I'm going to read the verse first okay. that you asked me to find. Okay, fair enough. Okay. And then you'll respond to that, I, yes? I missed it because I was looking for the well, verse. I'll repeat it. Okay, well, I'll have to repeat because it to you. I had a question because you, well, you see... Well, I'm, sorry, I'm in the middle of a discussion, now, Let me sorry. read the verse that he asked me to read. And then you'll just says, address this one. Indeed, we sent down the Torah in which was a guidance and light. The prophets who submitted to Allah judged by it for the Jews, and as did the rabbis and scholars by that which, which they were entrusted of the scripture. So here again, I'll just read it again. 
Indeed, we sent down the Torah, in which was a guidance and light. The prophets who submitted to Allah judged by it for the Jews, as did the rabbis and scholars by that which they were entrusted of the scripture of Allah. And this is from Sahih International. So it doesn't say the prophet uh, were given that task. That's not how I read it. That's not what you claimed it said at all. So the prophet, yeah, you, if you, if you, if I said I'll go into the tafsir as well. No, no, but, just no, I want you to look at the... Right. The, so, what, okay. what you've just said, so that says, start, is not right, what you claim. Let's the exegesis of the text. Indeed, we sent down the Torah, in which was a guidance and light. The prophets who submitted to Allah judged by it for the Jews. So the no, I don't understand that English. Can we have another translation? Have you got no, another one? Yeah. No, I don't. The English is very poor. The translation is okay, not I'll very good. You, I'll give you pick and pick. No, pick don't, don't give me pickful. That's a victorious.